Thank you for watching RFQ TV, Radio Free QuickBooks Television. Uh, we are live from Studio N25. This is Building 2, into it Plano, Texas headquarters. And uh, they actually taxied us over here, which was cool. My name is Woody Adams. I'll be your host uh, for the next 15 minutes or so. We're going to be talking about deciphering the online payroll ecosystem, online payroll offerings that Intuit has. There's about four or five we're going to break down. But of course, what's really going to be helpful, instead of me just talking here, have Don Brill and Stacey Kildall on as well. Uh, Stacy, how's it going there? I'm fabulous. As how usual. are you? Yeah, how are you doing? Doing well. Great. Yeah. Liking the snow. Yeah. Pretty good stuff here. Uh, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know there was so much snow here. <laughs> no, I'm McKinney. Sh McKinney does get some. I'm it shocked. Does get some. Um, Don, I know you yeah. probably have some back in New England, so. Yeah, we always have snow. Actually, last year was kind of snow less. Yeah, snowless. Yeah. We had like a few yeah, days fair. in February in Michigan where it was I like, like the 65. snow yeah. shuts down. Yeah. I want to shut things down. I want to get in front of the fire so I can do stuff on. Well, you guys work well. remote though. 100%. Pretty yeah. much. Like yeah. home office kind of thing. Absolutely. Right? You're not clocking in and out like right. me. You're not driving in. No. Excellent. See? No. It's great. Work in my But I do want to. Call work close. Law and order. Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. But I do want to just make a special note because every session I say who I'm not. All right. All right. So I want to make sure that. Um, actually, for this episode, I will not be, and I am not, the biggest loser. But I can tell you, by the next episode, I will be the biggest loser. So we will check. We will see that. Maybe not national. Might not be national. Right. But it will definitely be at uh, 188 Mullen Hill Road. Right. Right on. Okay. That's been a good theme. Yeah. I think for these RFQ yep. TV is what you're not. Yeah, what you're not. Things like that. Right. You know, because you want to be honest with people. We talked about that with yeah. Brad. We were very, tr you know, it's all about the trust circle. Right. right. When our circle of trust. Interview, we talked, it was all yeah. about Solid the truth. Solid circle of trust. That interview was yeah. the truth. And, and so we, I want to make sure people know that. You know, again, and again, people get confused who I really am and who I'm really not. So yeah. we've clarified that on a few oh, yeah, yeah. The episodes. Yeah. So we're good. We're going to get there. Yeah, we want to thank everybody uh, for watching and listening to Radio Free QuickBooks. Thanks all our listeners, and hopefully the TV thing works out as well uh, yeah. for you and provides a good yeah. valuable resource. So, online payroll. Uh, on November 7th, we had Alvin Young on, uh, marketing Radio manager. Show. Yep. Yep. For on their show Wednesday night. Don, that was when you were over in McKinney. You were in the dining yep. room. I was in the, the bedroom. I was Absolutely. on a plane. Yeah. Right, she you was were on the plane. plane. I was on a plane. You were doing the chat from the plane, I think. Yeah. Handling that. No. 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 She wasn't doing anything. I couldn't. I couldn't get. Okay. It. Okay. All right. Go well, ahead. I, Go I, with I it. was a little spotty on the plane. But okay. the the reason why I wanted to do that show is that when we were at one of the conferences. Um, you know, online payroll. Yeah, I know you get questions from peers oh, a lot, lot, and I'll get questions here at Intuit as a, as a product specialist. You know, I want to go online payroll. Does my my client has Quick, QuickBooks Online? So, is, do what they use QuickBooks Online payroll? Do they use Intuit Online payroll? Do I just add in my Intuit Online payroll for accountants? There's a new full right. service payroll, and then the Mac payroll is also online. So, there's five different online payroll offerings that Intuit has, but it's really on the same online payroll platform right. for the most part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we wanted to break that down. Uh, here today. So, Intuit Online Payroll and Intuit Online Payroll for Accountants. Let's talk about those two first. Stacy, you, both you and Don use IOP for us. So, just I, real quick, because yeah. I didn't know if you want to just ask Ralphie if he had a question. <laughs> I know earlier the he chicken, was saying something about it. He yeah. doesn't. Okay, that's the mascot. That's right. I just want to yeah, make sure before she started, because no. I know he was going to say something before, but go ahead. No, he doesn't care about payroll. That's right. He, does, he doesn't really care. He doesn't get paid. He's a contractor. He's a contractor. 1099. Yeah. <laughs> He's a contractor. Yeah. Okay. So I use IOP4A, I have for uh, close to two years now, I think, and I use it uh, in a bunch of different ways for different clients. Yeah. Some of my clients, I do everything for them. Some of my clients, I don't do anything for. I set them up, they have access, so they go in, process their payroll, pay their liabilities, do their form filings. 
I have uh, one client who just uses the time clock feature. That's all they, right. they use for it. Um, and they but have, it's web-based. So yeah, it's, so they log in, and, okay. and with the time clock, it's really nice, and it integrates with IOP4A. You set up one computer in your office. The employees get a key, a uh, four-digit code. They key it in to clock in, key it in right. to clock out. Right. And it flows. Somebody else goes in, approves the time, and then it flows right into right. creating the paychecks for them. So it works out really well. Uh, and then I have some clients who we kind of collaborate together, which is why I love IOP 4A, because they may create the payroll, the, the paychecks, right. and then I'll go in and pay the liabilities different and do the form files. Yeah, okay. it's really great. That's Very one cool. of the reasons why I love IOP 4A. It really allows you to to cater it to whichever client you And that's going to be for accountants who, who want to do some payroll, but the clients also might want to do some, and they have that relationship. So, yep. Dawn, do you have IOP 4A as well? I do not. I do okay. not. I just use right now, uh, but in January um, oh, right. 2013, uh, for those clients that Stacy's yeah. referring about, I'm gonna I'm gonna start switching some over. And and primarily, nice. you know, honestly, the re the one reason. Yeah, why? Because mm -hmm. because Stacy and I were in the airport. Like I don't know, maybe it was a year ago. I don't even know. Oh, I don't know, even know what day right. it is today. So I don't know how I'd remember that. Um, but we were in the airport and she was preparing payroll and Jill Ward's referred to that before. Yeah. It's true. I mean, she's just sitting there on her phone preparing payroll and I'm like, let me get out my iPad. I'm going to log into a QuickBooks file yeah. and I'm going to prepare payroll. Took me, you know, three times yeah. as long as it took her to do it. And yeah, I just right. want to be more efficient. Oh, so you guys raced. Yeah, I it was a race. I was, a loser. Right. I, was, I, I was not the biggest loser, <laughs> no, no. but I was the loser. So IOP for A versus EP for A, right? Correct. Right. Payroll for accounts, right? Yeah. So it won. Uh, and, and I know there's some reasons to stay on the desktop sure. payroll. That's there's, cool. Yeah, we know that. We're, yeah, I love we're the mobile app. app. Right. And I always yeah. tell everybody, yeah. it's my mm. favorite app on my phone, which is, it, it gives a little bit of insight as to what a nerd Right. And yep. it's, I have no social life. Stacy so, actually uses her phone more than anyone in the entire world. Probably, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the one bucket. Um, IOP, or, or the accountants that want to do the payroll and the clients too, so that's IOP for A. Another one is um, the QuickBooks Online Payroll, QuickBooks for Mac Payroll, also uses Intuit Online Payroll. Yeah. So same platform, but it's rebranded for those products. Mm -hmm. When you create the checks, they're just there in the register. It's not yeah. like you got to do the one-click import, or now I think there's like a simple sync uh, with, with regular IOP into QuickBooks. But I mean, just for yeah. QuickBooks Online and Mac, those would be in within the product, yeah. but a little different because uh, job costing for those? Yeah, they have job costing for IOP. Right, for Intuit Online Payroll, but for the QuickBooks Online Payroll, the QuickBooks Mac Payroll, one of the key differences is the job costing, not at least in the payroll portion. Right. Mm -hmm. However, you can go in and assign the job after the yeah, fact. Yeah, you right, can. Check. Yeah, which is a great point yeah. that Alvin made. Right, exactly. So. Not that people want to do that, but again. Yeah, because you said they want it native. They want it they native, want it native yeah, but you know I what? For, just yeah. for now, we're going to get over that. Yeah. Uh, no. Just for now. <laughs> we're going to get over that for now. Uh, but so let's, we're really talking about the efficiency and those right. clients that you're like, listen, I j I'm just doing payroll. We're not, you know, we're not getting right. some, you know, huge enterprise project. We're just no, talking exactly. about, right. let's just prepare stinking payroll for people. Exactly. And I will just do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And That's I, fair. the thing too is uh, you can use IFSP and IOP with the payroll app. You can't do QVOP with the payroll app. Right. You actually have right. to log into your browser. Good call. To do, because it is wrapped up inside QuickBooks Online. And you mentioned IFSP, so into a full service payroll, which we're going to talk about and Stacy's actually going to do a demo of uh, soon. Um, but they all do, you pay your employees, you can enter the time, automatic tax calculations are guaranteed, Yep. right? And uh, you can file forms. I know, I, I know into an online payroll, QuickBooks Online payroll and Mac payroll do have a, a basic versus plus level, so forms are not basically is the big difference. So I have a big question for yeah. Stacey. So the 941 filing, mm -hmm. how, is, how is that action happening in, in the QuickBooks Online Payroll? You can either print it out, save it as a PDF, and actually send it to your, give it to your client, however you want to do, mm -hmm. uh, and have them sign it and send it in, or you can set it up with e-file. So when you set that up, you can talk to your client, uh, get the information. There's a, a packet that they will sign mm -hmm. to give Intuit the uh, power of attorney so that they can make those payments and nice. file those forms mm -hmm. on the behalf of the client. And that's how I set it up for all my clients. So it's literally a couple clicks. Uh, 941 is submitted. Signed. But you can even, yeah, then you can, so you can get the form file because I think this is really important. Because oh, yeah. yeah, that's actually a lot easier yeah. process to go through. Yeah, than exactly. The desktop. Than yeah. The desktop. yeah, right. Okay. Much easier. Good to know. Key. That's Good pretty enough. key. And now with the uh, payroll app, you yeah. can pay liabilities uh, with for some really? states. Yeah. On the app. Ooh, on the app. On your yeah. phone, and it's iPhone, it, Droid, and that's and, it. And iPad. iPad. I mean, I use it on my iPad. Okay. Yeah, but it's not a native iPad app. Yeah. So that's exciting. 
I like that. I mean, you guys are mobile anyway, but hopefully it's totally. going to encourage some people that they can go there. So full service payroll, though. So Intuit used to have this complete payroll. Yep. A while back, it was desktop oriented. And we still have assisted payroll. But full service payroll is an online platform. Yep. Let's, let's break that down. So Intuit full service payroll, this is for really when you have clients who and you don't are not going to be doing the payroll and they're not comfortable or they don't want to do payroll. It's really Intuit's payroll service. Right. And so they can go online, they can enter the, the time. The full service people will walk them through the entire setup. They'll do the setup for the client. It's really yeah, great. That's cool. I it's hate really great. Payroll. I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah, and it's yeah. really easy and they have some things that we kind of call, you know, in case things get a little fat fingered. Um, mm. You can. Oh, yeah. it, there's a few tools in there that you can use to make sure and compare the payroll that you're doing now with the last one. Nice. Say, hey, you know, this is a lot more. Are you sure? Or if I hit 400 hours by accident, exactly. It'd be like, yeah. yep. that's nice. It's really great. Like alert. That's in full service payroll. And uh, and before you do the demo, I forgot to mention uh, one cool thing about the into an online payroll for accountants: the white branding. Yeah. So yours says killed all services. Mine says killed all services. When they log in to do it, and when they need to call for support, it has my office number. Nothing so they, about Intuit on there nope, at all. Nothing at all. So that's pretty sweet. It's pretty hot. And it's hot. tiered pricing yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So the more clients you get, oh, right. the cheaper it is per mm -hmm. client. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you're gonna go ahead, Stacey's gonna go yeah, ahead and demo that. Yeah, full service payroll. Thank I you very much. I'm very going cool. to go ahead and demo that. So once I log in, uh, you just go to uh, fullservicepayroll.intuit.com. And once you're logged in, you can go to your home page and it will uh, allow you just, you can just say enter payroll info. You can have different payroll schedules set up. So I have my schedule for every Wednesday. I'm just gonna click on the button that says enter payday info. And once that comes up, I'm just going to be able to enter the <laughs> nice. hours. That is cool. Yeah. So you can see here, I have uh, a couple payroll, a uh, couple employees here. I'm just going to check that employee, and he's got some other earnings. He's maybe, you know, he's maybe selling stuff. Yeah, he's getting commissions. Yeah, he's got a commission in there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, 40 hours, but maybe I accidentally key in 400 hours. Right, right. You can see right there, a little, a little box pops up, and it says, uh, if you hover Ooh. over it, it says, yeah. hey. Wow. It says this Sound amount effect. is significantly hey, different surprise. than what you entered the last time that you uh, right. did payroll. Oh, that's good. So it pops right up so you can see it right next to it so I can just go in and uh, change that. Mm. It will also do that on the next screen too. Right. It gives you another screen. If I click continue, the next screen will have yeah. another option where I can say compare to So there's to plenty last. of fail safes before yeah. you actually approve it. Yep, that's so cool. and I can go in and I can just compare that to the last payroll. Yeah. Uh, I can just click that little button and it says it's significantly different. Right. And so all I have to do is just click on that preview and it will show me the last pay date right next to the current pay date so oh, I wow. can see the difference. That's really nice. Right that is columns. Sweet. That's right. nice. Yeah, it's really great. And it's I a can nice tell you workflow. as an employer, I do not yeah. want to overpay anybody. Right, right, right. exactly. To be honest with you. And, and it's a good workflow. I mean, things are from that one page where you start. So yeah. Full service, yeah, I like the full service payroll. Alvin showed us internally for a sales training. It looked really slick. Yeah, and then once, yeah. and if you need to come back, you can say save and finish later. Or once you're all ready and you're done, you just say submit to Intuit and it's done, direct deposit, and that's nice. all the client has to do. It makes it really easy. Easy. Sweet. And, yeah. and the only enhancement request I have for that is like a, a voice over when you fat finger it. Right. The wrong hours, like, yeah. Hey. Right. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Some kind of voice. Or a little a horn yeah. honking. That would be nice. <laughs> a little horn. Is it, now, that would be difficult to pick which kind of horn. Is it like a wah well, yeah, Or just, what kind yeah, of horn is a it? A preference. Really? You'd have it's a preference. preference. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, so. you or maybe, you know what would be the best? The law and order. Boom, boom. Yes. Yeah, that's the law and order. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll work I'll on that. I'll email them. We'll see if that. that's on the roadmap anytime soon. Right. And so the so the so those are the key Key, key similarities, some differences, but again, the job costing, don't worry, you can do it after the fact, although we know what you yeah. want it native, so it's, I'm sure it's on the roadmap for that. Sure. So, into an online payroll, into an online payroll for accounts, into a full service payroll, QuickBooks for Mac payroll, which is online, and QBOP. They all kind of share the same uh, land, platform, however you want to look at it, but. And I want to mention yeah. that IOP and IFSP, they integrate with QBO, as oh, well as yes. desktop. And not That's just true. QuickBooks. Right. right. And right? other pieces, other software. If you have clients who are using other accounting software other than... Which would kind of be silly. Right. But whatever. I don't know whatever. why you would want them to yeah. be using anything else. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> cool. it does integrate with other, uh, 
you know other accounting mm. systems. So I don't know if Don would talk to anybody that didn't. I don't think Don. Well, would. you probably would. I would unfriend them. Well, or <laughs> you would at least see if you could somehow convert them, and then you know yeah. if it didn't work. We'd have out, a conversation, and then I would unfriend them. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. not a big deal. She would unfriend. I'd do it a little bit of that. It's okay. Enough. She wouldn't follow them on the twitters. I'm not following them on the twitters or on the what do you call it? The interwebs. The interwebs. Yeah. Or the se a series of tubes now. Right. Series what of it tubes. started. That's with, right. Right. Back in exactly. 2000. Exactly. Back in 2000. So anyway, we hope that you guys uh, have enjoyed this series of uh, you know Radio Free Q TV. Yeah. Radio Free QB TV, RFQ TV. <laughs> Whatever you want to call the it. The sign has it correctly. Right, yeah. <laughs> Just refer to that. It's my head We hope to be doing it again. Um, been helpful and a nice resource for you guys. Uh, just a call out, uh, thanks Zach Wilson and Dan uh, Lowell for producing it. Putting up with encouraging us. Encouraging us, exactly. Yep. Keeping us on track. A bit a little um, goofy. Want to so shout very out helpful. to the Kevins. Got a shout All out right. to the Kevins, both married to a Kevin. Yep. It's easier that way. Yeah. And Nicola yeah. again, of course. Yeah, oh, of course, Nick. Yeah, so. Eric. Yeah. Eric, Emily, Kayla. Yep. Absolutely. Right. We're Everybody. putting up with, you know, we're gonna, dealing with things when we're, not, when we're not with them. We'll do this again. Other topics. We're going to hold the shot here. 3, 2, 1 will be out. But thanks for listening about feedback. online payroll. Love some feedback. Yep. And make sure that you give us your feedback. You can find us on Twitter at Radio Free QB. You can find our LinkedIn group. If you go to LinkedIn, yeah. and just search for Radio Free QB. It's true. And uh, if you want to watch any more, IntuitAcademy.com. Say bye to Ralphie. Hold He's the shot. Ralph. Ralphie, three, two, one. Thanks for watching this episode of RFQ TV. For more episodes of RFQ TV, you can check out IntuitAcademy.com. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, and if you'd like to continue the discussions, you can find us on LinkedIn.